Hey guys, and welcome back to Star from Night Plays, East, the Oath and Falgana. This is part 11 of our Let's Play, and last time, we were able to beat the horrible dragon, the icy dragon of doom, find Chester's true motivations, and make it into the castle to proceed to get killed over and over and over and over and over again. So we're going to try to play it extra conservatively today and on top of that we're going to try not to lose if we have been all right that's a good start Stupid maids. Hey dude, get over here. Maybe chick just die. Given how much things really are screwing with us right here, probably should, you know, actually pay attention a little bit more. Actually, Something a friend of mine mentioned was I haven't used a bunch of these. They don't seem to do a whole lot. Two HP each isn't very much. I mean, it's something, but it's not like it's a make or break deal. Come on. Ah, oh, that's a good combo. Let's do that. I like that combo. That was unintentional. Oh, I got hit once, that's okay though. Getting hit once is not a super big felt. Oh, I want that. I want that. I didn't see that before. God, really? <laughs> I have enough Ravelord to upgrade all the equipment that I currently have to max, which won't do shit for me right now. Alright, well we got rid of the... Evil. Demon curtsies. Demon curtsy! The giant spike ball makes it very hard to see. So I'll make sure I'm not missing anything that way. Good. So we're gonna go up top and not get murdered, hopefully. I mean, the general idea is usually not to get murdered. Getting murdered is typically a bad thing, okay? But you know... We can't always control whether we're going to be murdered.
I don't like this. At all. Ah! She's my way out of that one. Why should I have to fight fair or normally when I don't have to? I don't like those guys. Those guys, they move too fast and they hit... I don't know what you do. Long haired demon night chick. Thing. I'm assuming it's a knight. Yeah, most definitely an epic music land, though. Hmm. I do wonder what's to the left over there. Or right, I mean, not left. I wonder if there is... Looks like there is something over there. Of course there is. It's more Ravalor! Don't you... 500? Now the game's just being silly. It's just going, ah, oh, you want some Ravalor? Here's some Ravalor for ya. You want some more fucking Ravalor? Here's some more Ravalor for ya. Was that not enough Ravalor for ya? How about some more? I mean, seriously, I have more Ravalor than hell right now. I have more money than hell right now. I have enough to buy the uh, revival bracelet thing yet, but I mean, that's not like, you know, a gigantic thing on my need list or anything at the moment. Hope this is the right way, because if this isn't, I'm going to be sorely. I sorely disappointed. Oh, there's a save point here. It means one of two things. However, the nice thing with save points is Alright, I have two places I can warp to. Ha ha I think I know who we're fighting. Alright. Fuck you! Oh, I don't know who we're fighting, obviously. What the fuck are you? Death Valiant. Holy shit! Oh god, we're gonna get our ass killed. All right, we're going to change our color based off what damages us. I believe physical attacks do nothing against him. If I remember this fight. Either that or you just don't want to take him up close because he's dumb. Oh, 
I'm not actually sure, given our current stats and the like, we can actually take this guy even if we wanted to. Not without really perfect play. We haven't even gotten down to 50% health yet, so we're not even- I'm not even sure if he's got a, uh... Secondary mechanic. Now he's red again. So let's not go this way for right now. We can always get back here very quickly. Which is kind of a good thing. Now I could warp to the other part of the castle, which might be a better way to go, but I'm not... I really hate those first couple rooms, I really do. And this room was so retardedly easy. I mean, really retardedly easy. The thing is, we will need to beat that boss, because that boss is required to... ...give us an item we need, I believe. ...in order to progress further. That was nice, we got, uh, freaking, uh, healing item and a level up. Alright, so... Which will reduce the damage we take from attacks, and... Not the healing item, but the, uh, level up. And greatly help us with the rest of this freaking castle of doom. Oh, hi. I can do that too! Jumpy mage chick, die! What's this way? Horribleness! Horribleness everywhere! Oh ho! Uh oh, acquired the silver pendant. That's Elena's silver pendant. Well, shit, son. One of the organ's keys is missing. One of the displays by the organ is missing. Across two items we need. Get out of here before I get my ass murdered. Now we know why we didn't want to go that way. Good. I don't know how I got back up to full health. That's a good question. Stupid lizardy thing. Okay, what's down here then? Demon maids. Ton of demon maids. God, all the demon maids. I shall kill all the demon maids. Alright, let's go over here.
We can already take quite a few more hits just by virtue of... Let's not get too cocky, however, because that would be a bad thing. Get over here. Get over here. I may want to kill you. You may drop life. And you did. Let's not go up the bad way. Here, bad ways. Oh, you... Freaking whore! Good! Scream and die! Hope you stay down there and like it. Acquired the battle armor. Well, fuck yeah. <laughs> Six points, yeah, that's, that's a pretty standard Chris support, so we go back to using our normal silly adventure looking armor. Really? How about you just die, whole bag? God! Freaking magic users and their stupid shit! I think that's actually all that's up here. There might be something else, actually, if I float. Nope. Okay. We got the battle armor. It's already an improvement. We get close to die and I am teleporting out. Like a mad motherfucker. Let's go... hi. I do want that Ravalor, especially because it's five chunks. And their battle armor is probably going to take like 50 chunks each or something to upgrade, so I don't know, like 100 and some odd chunks each to upgrade. Man, it sucks to be you guys, you only deal 20 damage to me now, thanks to getting a freaking armor upgrade that's worthwhile. The thing that sucks, I do actually believe that there's a reason why those spikes are down there because you end up jumping down to get- I think there's an item on a ledge you can get you normally can't reach unless you fall down. I'm not doing so bad now. That one level up combined with getting the battle armor. Exactly what the doctor ordered. Bye. Bye. See, like, there's that. No! Okay. Could've been worse, could've been worse. He actually could've lost, you know, progress or life and limb. Topaz! Oh, I need more of those anyway. Oh, he just fell down there. Well, I'm not fighting you, because it sucks to be you. Let's go around and around and around and around. And around and around and around. And around. Hmm. Remember, right? Yep. 
There's actually a reason why we want to be up here. Hey, look! Guys! Hey! It's that man from before! The man with the red hair! You are... Master Adel, no? You seem unaffected by the dark mist, fortunately enough for us. But that begs the question, why have you come here? Adel briefly explained the situation at hand to the Countess. I see. So Chester spoke the truth. He locked us in here for our safety. He told me much the same story. He said that my husband had slaughtered the people of the island to further his own ambitions. If that is indeed the truth, then I would agree it is entirely unforgivable. As his wife, I share the burden of that sin, and I am prepared to answer for it. But my children do not. They are innocent souls untainted by this despicable act. The staff as well. I believe that Sir Stoddard's actions are unjustifiable, even under such a uniquely unpleasant circumstances. I will do what I I can to make amends for my husband's actions. I'll seek to it that he answers for them at the least. But I can do nothing from this room, and I dare not leave it with the castle in such a state. Please, Master Adol, will you put a stop to this before it grows any worse than it already is? Of course I will. Time has weighed heavily on my husband ever since he was sent to this land. I came from Rom to wed him this castle with his gift to me, a show of his influence, an effort to impress. Several years ago I consented upon the addition of a clock tower, a rare fixture even in Rom, much less rare here. The mist came from that clock tower. If my consent contributed to the horrors these innocent people now face, then I am just as guilty as he. Chester has such an angry look in his face, like a demon! What happened to him? Did somebody hurt him? You said he has a grudge against father, and he wants revenge. But why do, But what does that mean? I don't know those words. What's a grudge? What's revenge, and why does he want it? Do you see what Chester did to me? He locked me up in here like I was a misbehaving cat. That's no way to treat a lady. He should be ashamed of himself. So I thought, if I'm a cat, then I'm going to act like one. And I clawed at him as he left. Mother pulled me away, but before she did, a man should knock something out of his pocket. Maybe you know what it is. Acquired the ivory key. <gasps> First part we need for the piano. Huzzah and good fortune. Man, sorry for you guys. It's all stuck in here. Not having the best times of your life. Definitely could be more fun, that's for sure. I wonder if there's anywhere else I can get to that I didn't see. The thing is, the battle armor is only that, just the battle armor part. It's not the uh, rest of the armor, which I could definitely use. However, if I upgrade this armor, I might have a chance against that son of a bitch in the other room. Is there anything up there I could, el anywhere else I could have gone? I didn't see anything. I was hoping to unlock the next floor of the castle. I could hope that way I could have a quicker recourse for getting up here, but maybe I can't. And that's not where that leads. In fact, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Yeah, there's nothing up here for me to get to. So many maids. Ugh. Alright. Well, let's... I don't think there's anything else I missed anywhere else in this castle. 
Nope, we're gonna need to go to that room and fight that bastard. Which I am not horribly pleased about. What I should do, actually... Let's go back to Redmont and talk to a couple of people to make sure I'm not missing anything here. And then, depending, upgrade my equipment as much as I can because I'm gonna need to. There's way... I deal way not enough damage. Are you okay, Adol? Garner was really badly wounded. He needed to take it easy for a while so he can recover. I was flabbergasted when he told everyone to take shelter in the church. Who'd have thought the soldiers of Valstein Castle would come attacking? As if the violent altercations and quarries forced closure weren't bad enough. Well, you a debt of extreme gratitude, Adol. It's amazing the damage wasn't any worse given their numbers. What in the world were those soldiers, anyway? Looks like the soldiers from the castle have invaded the town. But why? Why would Count McGuire attack Redmont? What good will that do him? I just don't get it. How could you have authorized this? Well. Men are not always so smart. I can't even... Barely. Might as well buy this. So I have so many items already as it is. Alright, I'm guessing we have our armor tempered, but there's no other useful-ish items for me to grab. What's her name's gone? Sister Nell has disappeared. Of course, she may be in the place with the dude. The mayor. Though I guess I can go to the front of the castle, talk to the maid and be like, I found him, they're alright! And she probably won't do anything though. If she did though, I'd be really happy. Adel gave his assurance that the Count's family was alive and well. Truly? They're alive and well? Oh thank god, I was so worried about them. Bless you kind sir for putting my mind at ease. Well. There's something I guess. Alright, so we get to face this poser. That poser, I mean, I'm the poser because I obviously don't know what the shit I'm doing here. That only deals 16 damage now, though, which is. Fourteen damage, excuse me. Oh god, get out of the freaking
Alright, we got him down below half health in one try of not doing so hot at all. Oh god, I got. That was bad damage to take. I actually don't know if I can even hurt him when he's got yellow up, because yellow is like... Oh, I can. Well, he mimics the same magic that, uh... We got... Somewhat. Oh god, come on. I just realized that his, uh, one attack that he fires... Oh, that was so close! Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, so close. I need to play better on this part, though. Like, other than taking a little bit of minor damage, there's no reason I should be taking any damage on this part of the fight at all.
Well, I'll get there eventually. I need to build up my rage. I'm still not sure what to do about avoiding that attack other than maybe spamming off. Like... Maybe spamming off, uh... Uh, 30 damage that I didn't need to take. Come on. Motherfucker. Uh. Other than that part, I'm not sure if there's anything I learned that can help me avoid the other parts of the attacks otherwise. Other than the very basic avoidance. Oh wow, that sucked of these attacks. Actually, those attacks, it's almost better to go in farther. Like, the go in. The, the problem with going in is his stupid spikes.
Alright. Thing is, I think the spikes actually deal less damage than his, uh... ...than his shot does, at least. So maybe that is just the... At worst, they deal as much if you get hit a couple times. Or they deal half otherwise. Not doing so bad right now. God damn it. So close. Alright, one more try, and then if we fail this try for this run, we'll just have to call it until next time. In some ways, it'd be nice if I had a hotkey for every type of magic, I'm not gonna lie. I will say is I hate how whenever you uh, switch magics, you don't maintain your charge. It's really fucking annoying. Really? I think part of the fact that he's not completely predictable with the attacks he uses is also annoying. It's actually one of the only things that does irk me about the games is like... You don't know the types of attacks they're going to use half the time, which means that a lot of your strategy is dependent on... ...hopefully anticipating the right attack. Like this attack. You know it uses it when you get close. That's the only thing you really know about the attack. As far as like his... ...pattern when he uses it. But, he doesn't always use it when he, you get close though.
like there I was just way too far out. I shouldn't have gone in. Anyhow, I think we're gonna leave it there for there. I think we're gonna leave it there for now, guys. Next time we're gonna beat this boss and go from there. Then explore the rest of the castle, hopefully get some better armor and weapons, because I'm sure they're in here somewhere. Anyhow, thanks for watching guys, and uh, see you next time.